Hello and welcome. Did you like what you saw? How about this one? So what did we just watch? A bunch of cars drifting, right? So how about this? It's going. <laughs> how about that? It's a guy passing out on a roller coaster ride. What did those vid have in common? They both have something to do with motion, work and energy. So what does those three things have? Well, energy is the capacity to do work. Energy can exist on, kinetic energy, potential energy, mechanical, electrical, thermal, nuclear and other various forms of energy. And as we all know, kinetic energy and potential energy go hand in hand. But today, we are going to be talking about kinetic energy. Kinetic energy by Trixia Joy Fulgencio Yei. So, what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is energy in motion. It measures the mass of an object in motion. If we see a baseball being thrown, a roller coaster going down a ramp to a person drifting their car. They're all connected to kinetic energy. So, what are the factors affecting kinetic energy? Those factors are velocity and mass. For velocity, the greater it is, the greater its kinetic energy. Same as for the mass. If two objects move at the same velocity, the object with more mass, has greater kinetic energy. Basically, the greater the mass, the greater the kinetic energy. If there are more than one type of energy, then there are more than one type of kinetic energy depending on its motion. There's kinetic energy, and then there's rotational kinetic energy. Let us start with kinetic energy. As we all know, kinetic energy is the energy of an object due to its motion. The prime definition of kinetic energy, if it is moving at the same velocity, it will maintain its kinetic energy. As for rotational kinetic energy, it is the movement of energy in which an object has due to its spin. As the name states itself, it rotates. Just like the gif of the baseball here. Hee <laughs> hee. So here is the formula for kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. Where m is the mass and v is the velocity. One example is, a baseball that weighs 0.415 kg was pitched in a speed of 41 meters per second. What was the baseball's kinetic energy? So, R given would be that mass is 0.415 kg and the velocity is 41 meters per second. Now, just substitute those givens and solve it. Square your velocity, then multiply it by the mass and one half. We would then have 120 joules. As for rotational kinetic energy, we have a different type of formula. Instead of mass, we have the inertia of the spinning object and velocity for the angular velocity or the omega. Still the same process as the kinetic energy, but different givens. Now, for the problem. A baseball is spinning with an inertia of 0.047 kg m2 and an angular velocity of 6.1 radian per second. What is the rotational kinetic energy of the ball? So, what would be our given? Of course, the I inertia, which is 0.047 kg m2, and the angular velocity, omega, which is 6.1 radian per second. Then, we just substitute it according to its formula. Square your omega, then multiply it by the inertia and one half. We would then have 0.87 joules. 
Now, what did we learn today? We learned the formula for the different types of kinetic energy and hopefully you will be able to use this as guidance in solving for the kinetic energy. The difference of kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy and the factors affecting kinetic energy, which is the mass and its velocity, as for rotational kinetic energy, it's the inertia and its angular velocity. I do hope that you guys learned in today's lesson. Peace out.